Hey Spices! So last week I was at Costco and they were just about all out of bread and I thought I could make it myself. So since I am here to help you use food pantry items, we are going to be making some homemade bread. And this recipe is for beginners because you don't need a special bread flour. You can use your regular all-purpose flour and it is simple and delicious. So let's go spice things up. Okay, so to a measuring cup, I added one third cup of water. Now I'm gonna put my water in the microwave and I'm gonna turn it on for 15 seconds. Okay, so now that your water has heated up, we will wanna add one package of active dried yeast and you wanna add it to the hot water. And just push the yeast into the water, kinda mix it up. All right, so now we're just gonna set it aside for about five minutes just to help the yeast activate in the hot water. In another cup, we are measuring one cup of milk and I am putting this in the microwave and I'm gonna heat it up for 30 seconds since the milk was cold. So once your milk has heated up, we are gonna add it to a bowl and one teaspoon of salt. And now we can go ahead and add your yeast to the milk. Now to the bowl, you want to add one tablespoon of oil. Um, you can use whatever oil you want. This is canola oil. And now you want to add four cups of all-purpose flour. I'm actually going to use a cup at a time and just kind of stir it. And then another cup. And whisk it. And now another cup. And whisk it. Okay, so before adding the last cup of flour, I need to add one egg. And you wanna make sure you whisk this egg up already. So I'm just gonna whisk it up, break it up. And now I'm just gonna add it right to the bowl. So I'm gonna stir that together. And now I'm gonna add my last cup of flour. All right, so now I'm gonna just do the old fashioned way. I'm gonna start with my hands. Don't worry, my hands are clean. When you have texture like this, it's always easier to use your hands. Don't be afraid to get messy. All right, so now you want a separate bowl. And I'm just gonna take some oil and sprinkle it in and just kind of rub it in the bowl. All right, like that. And now you wanna take your batter and just put it right in your bowl. And now you want to cover your bowl with plastic wrap. This will keep in any hot air and help it to rise. All right, so usually we put our bowl on top of the fridge or in a nice sunny window spot, but since we just got done cooking some pumpkin spice bread, we're just gonna put it right on top of the oven. It's still nice and warm around it and we're gonna let it rise for an hour. All right, guys, so now that my bread has doubled in size, it's time to punch it. That's what they say to do, punch it. <laughs> That's kind of the fun part. And then it kind of deflates. And then you just take it out, and then they say to knead the dough. This is how you knead the dough. This gets extra air out. so there's not really any air bubbles. Can you hear that? And you kinda wanna roll it. It's kinda nice and even. And then you wanna cut it in half. So you have two, so basically you will be making two loaves of bread. You will wanna get some cooking spray and spray your pans. You can use whatever pans you want. Um, this one is a glass one. This one's a metal one. And then you'll just wanna put your bread or your dough in your pan. And now we are gonna take these pans and cover them with the plastic wrap. And then we are gonna let them rise in the pan for 30 minutes to an hour until they double in size. 
and you will want to store these in a nice warm spot as well. All right, so now that my dough has been rising nicely, I'm gonna turn on my oven to 350. So I'm just gonna take the plastic wrap off them. The other one. All right, so I am putting my bread in the oven and we are gonna be cooking it for 45 minutes at 350 or until golden brown. All right guys, it has been 45 minutes and as you can see, they're nice and golden brown on the top. And then I'm gonna take them out of their pans and then set them on this cooling rack. And after letting the bread cool off, I went ahead and made my husband some turkey and cheese sandwiches to take to work. Another thing about making bread, the nice thing is you can freeze it. So if you make up a few batches, you can just put them in the freezer and then take them out when you need to. Well, I hope this helped you guys and I hope this helped relieve a lot of stress for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye and see you in the next video.